What is up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome into a very special episode of the Brahma Bullpen. We got my boy Chitty here starting left tackle for the San Antonio Brahmas. Let's go. We're trying to, here on the bullpen, we're going to try to get you in the huddle. We're going to try to get it to where you know these guys, recognize their names, know their personalities. Uh, we're excited to bring you this player interview. And uh, Chitty, please, please feel free to make fun of me all you want and correct me all you want, man. That That's what it's all about. We want it to be natural. So yeah. we're going to just jump right into this interview so people don't have to hear me talk. Let's start off, man. Tell us a little something about yourself. What do you want the fans to know? What do you want the Brahma bullpen to know about you, sir? Uh, I want the Brahma family to know that um, I will do anything to make my team win. I know. So, and also uh, for them to have me as their player, for them to choose me to be their player, for them to draft me, you know, it's an honor. You know, I take every little win in my life serious. So um, I owe it to the uh, city of San Antonio. When I come back next season, like I'll have to do what I have to do to like put us in the best position to win the game. And, like, you know, like we got to improve, you know. So I want them to know that the quarterback is solid. The quarterback is good. You know, he have all the time in the world. You know, so yeah. this is off season. Like you know, when you know after the season, um, I wasn't feeling okay because you know we're supposed to win the championship, but we have the talent in the team, and um, you know, injury hit us, so many things, adversity. So, but we learned from our mistakes. You know, so hey, we were just a field goal away, right? We were just a field goal away anyway. So yeah, I mean, man. So you guys do what you have game, to do. Every game we won, we feel like we're gonna win with just one field goal or just you know. So all that stuff is something that we got, like you know do better this year and also I'm prepared me personally because I have to play one position but once I do my job perfectly I know it can affect other positions too it's all about like an attitude you come in to the training camp with people will be like you know as a returning player they'll be looking up to you and I'm like okay let's see he was here last year so you know what's going on so you have to like lead these guys because some some players not going to be back some will be signed so <clears throat> for us that was there earlier we have to like you know Continue the culture, like you know, as Hans Ward always tell us, we gotta maintain, like you know, maintain the culture, you know. So when new guys come, we have to like you know, put them in so that we can blend in. So this year will be different because I know it's a different mindset, and um, I want the uh, San Antonio fans to know that that this year we're definitely ready to like you know win championship 2024 for, for real, for real, yeah. for real, for real. But like I wanted to have that trust, you know, that it's gonna happen this year, you know, definitely. Man, we got we got faith in you guys. I mean, we really do. Uh, so, what is it that you like about football? Is it the team? Is it the the you know the technique? You know, what is it that uh, when you started playing the game that made you fall in love with it? It it could be a paycheck. I mean, I don't know, but uh, what what is it that does it for you, man? My intro to football, man, is crazy because I actually I was from hearing my accent. You know, I'm not from here. Yes, sir. You know, so um, I'm originally from Nigeria, you know, born and raised. So I grew up playing soccer. My number one sport growing up is that I'm a soccer player. I play I play soccer all my life. So just just the way in America, everybody have, um when you go to one one neighborhood to another, you see a basketball court, everybody play basketball, baseball. That's how we have a soccer pitch everywhere in Nigeria. So I grew up as a soccer player. So from there, I started playing basketball. So I started getting growing tall. People telling me, man, I feel like you're too tall to play soccer, man. I got to go play basketball. <laughs> so I said, player, man, I, I, said, I feel like I, I used to, you know, my teammates always laugh at me, but I used to tell them, like, I play a lot of sports, bro. I'm like a, like low-key Bo Jackson a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> For real. So because where, where I'm from in my village, you got to know how to do something. If you don't know how to, you got to know how to run. You got to know how to play soccer. You got to know how to, Right? You gotta do there's something you gotta do, you know. So that you know, it's kind of like for me to be able to like transition from one sport to another. Then I got a scholarship to come to America to play football, you know, to play oh, to play basketball actually. So when I came here, I'm like, no, I'm too, I'm not too tall to be in the NBA. Like you know, I gotta be seven foot, you know, because well, yeah. I play, I play, I play center back in Nigeria, you know. But when I came to America. <laughs> I see like a giant trees. I'm like, no, no, I, I can't, I can't continue. <laughs> I have to like, you know, 
switch to another position or uh, switch to another sport, which was perfect. Uh, football, my team has football. And I told my coach, hey, I must switch. Because I've been seeing this game a lot anyway on TV. This is the right time to, you know, to put it to, to actually like, you know, give myself a chance. Yeah. So actually, um, from transitioning from one sport to another, like, you know, from me seeing my body changing, like I think you know, oh, my friends telling me, hey, you gotta go do something else. Soccer is not for you anymore. So that kind of like changes my mentality the way I think from learning how to play basketball. Now it got me to America on scholarship. From there, now I switched to football. So as soon as I, you know, as, as Nigerian, I'm, I am like, we are born hustlers. Like, you know, all you have to do is just teach us how to do stuff and relax. You know, so, we got to do it. So was that first, uh, was that first, first offer uh, LSU? Is that right? Or who was the first, first so, thing you um, had? It was crazy though. I got up my first scholarship. I've never been to like, I don't think I've been to America more than six months when I got my first scholarship and it was University of Miami, UM. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a crazy story, man. You know, I don't know if you guys have a little time for that, but I can make it short. We so got time first... for whatever you want. You're the man oh, here. Okay. I'm, I'm just the <laughs> guy sitting here in the cow pasture, buddy. That's it. Yeah, my actually, my first scholarship, you know, it's crazy. I didn't end up went, uh, going to UM. But um, my first question was University of Miami. So my coach then in high school, then in Miami. So he told me, hey, um, there's this Nike camp going on in Miami Day. Uh, I think Miami Miami Garden, something like that. He was telling me, hey, uh, a bunch of kids like you are going to be over there. They're going to compete. They're going to do all those one-on-one rush, all those kind of stuff. Um, um, I want you to go over there and compete, man. You ready? You know, you're from Africa, man. You're from Nigeria. You know, coach, football coaches yeah. always try to, like, get you to, like, you know. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. So, but he told me, like, uh, I told him, are we going to wear helmets? Because I was decided to wear helmets. I've never seen that before. <laughs> you know, i never seen the actual helmet, you know, in my yeah. hands. So I was like, okay, um, yeah, yeah, let's go over there. And I was like, I, can, I feel like I can do anything. So, um, but before that, though, before I went to that uh, camp, he always, I never started practicing because we, you know, I came in the spring. So he always like tell me, hey, um, you got to watch, you know, like you got to watch some tape. If you want to be a good player, you're just going to watch YouTube, watch football, man. Watch the best that they ever do, do it for your position. Just watch them. Yeah. So after he told me that, because me, you know, because everybody I'm trying to adapt in America, I'm trying to adapt to the football, I'm trying to adapt to the football, whatever, it, like food, school system, <laughs> football, like it's crazy, you know? Yeah. So, um, what I did though, one thing I did, I told myself like, you know, I want to like, you know, be one of, I want to be like these guys because I be sometimes in the class, I see my coach will be like, hey, um, call somebody, or call one of my teammates, like, hey, you just got a scholarship from the University of Alabama. Everybody was like, oh wow. So I was like in my mind, like, wow. So you can really get a scholarship from doing this, you know. You don't, my family don't have to pay for my school. I can yeah. really just go out there in the field for three hours, do whatever they ask me to do. That's it. That's how I see it, though, because I know we do more tougher stuff back home. You know, I was playing soccer with barefoot, you know, and, you know, so hard in my, you know, I didn't want to go there. So I'm tough. <laughs> so, but yeah. like, what I'm saying is, um, my coach told me, like, you know, you got to watch all these videos. It's going to help you. So I started watching one on one, O line, like O line, D line, one on one rush, last drill. I've seen some ones they have Nike, Under Armour. I would see, see some guys winning MVP. I'm like, oh, wow, this is cool. So my coach told me I got to be a, a, a tackle. You got to play left tackle. You can play nose guard. You can be a D-line. I was like, oh, that time I don't know the difference. You know, but in practice, <laughs> they, they asked me to rush. But every time in practice, I would practice. Like, every time I rush, I always get a sack. I was like, this is easy. Tell me to do something better. Like, you know, so, yeah. but, but just long, long story short, my coach registered me to go to that camp in Miami uh, Garden. So I was Nike camp. I went over there. So because I watched like one month, one month of one-on-one pass rush by myself, every, every night before I go to bed, I watch it. I'm like, I want to see how the technique, how they, they get, you know, use their hands, kick out, all those stuff. So I'm good in learning when I pay attention and stuff. You know, so I just captured that. I'm like, oh, you just got to bend your knee. Just use your hands. Just... Oh, it's like basketball, though. Like, you know, it's just like yeah. playing defense. But you just got to be in a particular situation. So I, I, I envision it like that. Like, you know, I didn't have... Then I don't have any destruction in my head. That, that I was, that, about football. 
that was one of my questions. So if you had to, if you could pick one thing to to be the best at, would it be hands or feet as a left tackle? What like what do you think you need to work on the most for 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 young someone who wants to learn to be better? I would say it's hands for a tackle because most tackle, even in NFL though, it's just like you know, I I study so much of you know I watch I watch see Joe Thomas. You know, I watch tons of his interview, like when he talk about him. Um, this O line guy, um, Bald, Bald, uh, forgot his name. He always talk about O line, you know, O line guys in the NFL. So, I watch so many things that he said when he had an interview with um Joe Thomas. He was talking about your hands. Everything had to be hands. You know, your hands. If you if you if you are good with your hands as a tackle, it makes your job easy. You know, so sometimes you see most guys when they when they um. When they see guys rushing them, they want to catch the guy. Sometimes it works if you if you lift with it all the time. It works. You can catch him holding like Tyron Smith. He's the only guy I watch all the time. Dallas Cowboy, like he always like he's so strong. He's a lineman that has six pack. I'm trying to be like him. Yeah. This season. <laughs> yeah. So he's just strong. Like whenever he like you know, he can hold you like strong and stop you. And sometimes he can punch. So for some you know for some reason like it's easier to like. Coaches, you know, depend on all the coaches I've been around in other teams, NFL teams and everything. They always say, if you want to be a good tackle, you got to make use of your hands. Yeah. That, it makes your job easy. Because so, you just get, when you throw your hands, somebody can be like, you know, they flinch. They want to like, you know, they don't, want, they don't know what's coming. So, but when they, you always want to catch, somebody that is stronger than you, we always win when they like, rush you. Like somebody like Aaron Donald, you know. If you want to yeah. go against somebody like that, coaches always teach. You don't have to like go one on one with him because it's the D line guy. He's lower. He's stronger. He, you know, that's how they play. The only best Big technique man. is just yeah. Your best <laughs> is just trust, trust your technique and use your hands. You know, stop it early. Give I can time. say hands. Yeah, I can yeah, say hands. So, so it's it sounds like you're good at communicating those skills. So I, a little rumor I heard is uh you might be coaching a, a little league team or a pee wee team. What do they call it over there in California? What what do you got going on with that? Oh, so it's like a, it's a, like a, uh, Pee Wee? Uh, yeah. So it's okay. a middle school guys. So some of them going to be in, uh, high school next year. You know, some of them still going to have one more year. So, yeah. um, so, uh, it's a middle school in St. Clemente. So I, I'm there like all line coach over there. <laughs> Are you, so, uh, so you're position coach for, yeah, the, nice. Yeah. So, but it's a pack time because I told them, you know, I'm still playing. I still got like, yeah. by the grace of God, I still got like six to seven more years of playing professional. Because I feel like I never played much football yet. Because, you know, the total of me playing football is just 10 years, which is how many years I've been living in America. Um, other players, people in the NFL play 16 years just of professional. So I yeah. got time, you know. Yeah. So I'm still learning the game till now. So I'm now, I'm ready to play, you know. So I'm excited, you know, because of maturity in the game, like things I never know, I learn. Because, you know, you have to ask somebody in my situation, I have to ask questions all the time because football is not in my background, you know? So, yeah. and football is a kind of a game that if you don't ask questions, you're never going to know. You're never going to know. Yeah. And nobody have time to teach you that. Like, you know, it's not like a football one-on-one. It's not, it's not every, it's just about some players, whenever we bring out each other together, you will know, like in the room, you know, oh, this guy is far behind. This guy is better. This guy. So you know that everybody have different ways they teach, understand stuff. So, I understand it's still early, like, you know, late, you know, like, not like late, but like, you know, I'm still learning. Cause, so I realized that, like, you know, you got to, like, really, like, pay attention, you know, like I told myself, like, ask questions, just ask people that know this stuff. Because, you know, from here. So that makes me, like, you know, watch more film, watch uh, Twin Williams, man. Like, you know, I watch him a lot, you know. But in terms of my technique, having a good technique, like, good hands, you know, good knee bend. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's Tyron Smith. I've been watching him all college. There and you I go. I want to be like him. I just want to be like him, though. Like he looks like a soccer. Like he doesn't look like a a, a, a lineman. Yeah. So I feel like I feel like I can be like that because I'm a soccer player, though. I have a soccer background. I never see he, myself like a as a big guy. Like you know, I don't think like that. Although I look like that, but I never think I can be big. That's why I see me in the game. I do some things. People are like, oh, like big guy doing this kind of stuff. But yeah. I don't. I don't He's feel quick. like. I, He's quick off the ball, you know. When they hike the ball, he's up and he's back and he's getting in position quick. Uh, yeah. And that's, you know, that's that's a good guy to Emily. I'm a Cowboys fan too. We're so oh, right. I'm, a, I'm a San Antonio, Texas, so we're Cowboys country down here. Of course, uh, you know, Brahma's is where we go now. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, so, you know, be, um, based on that, like, you know, for me, the way I try to, like, you know, improve my game is by watching all these guys I call, like, you know, individually, like, I watch Trent Williams. Trent Williams, I watch Trent Williams and um, Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas, yeah. Joe Thomas, yeah. like, you know, you know, there's so many, I watch a lot of videos, man. Yeah. You know, it's a, hey, so the, it helps me best, a lot. That, that's the best way to learn. That's how that's how we all learn everything. And also, learn. and also, another guy I work with personally, one on one, is Antonio Munoz. You know, I still talk to him today. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, he trained me uh, in 2019 during my uh, during my NFL draft. Uh, my agents kind of like you know know him, and uh, he volunteered to walk out, with me, walk me out for one day. But as soon as I tell him my story, man, he was like, "Oh man, I like this guy." He, he walked <laughs> me out like four times. Like I was yeah. like, so excited, man. So he's he's really like you know I learned a lot from him too. So. I heard a lot of stuff, like from the best of the best, both on TV and real life, and also the O-line coaches, Kansas City Chiefs O-line coach, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers O-line coach. Um, when I was in um, Washington Redskins, my first team, Bill Callahan. We don't talk about the Redskins here. We, we, you, you, oh, you keep, we don't oh. talk about the Redskins here. You keep that to yourself. <laughs> well, Washington Commanders. So, there you uh, go. Oh, yeah, Commanders. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get canceled because I called them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to <laughs> dig that. Um, <laughs> Washington <Edit>. Commander. Washington, <laughs> Washington Commander. So, Bill Callahan, O-line coach over there, is, you know, is one of the best. So, like, all these coaches, all these places I've been, even in college, too, like, you know, Jeff Grimes, I think he's a uh, uh, BYU or D-line, uh, O-line um, offensive coordinator. So, for me, you know, I have a retentive memory that I always, because this is a new sport to me. Anytime I, somebody teach me stuff, I save that. Like, it doesn't go nowhere. Because it's yeah. a new stuff, sport to me. Like, you know, I, I get excited that I'm learning this new stuff. So, combination of all these coaches, you know, the things, and some of them always teach the same. You know, it makes and, me, and also watch. And now you're doing the same thing for the kids. So, like, yeah. when you when you tell the kids what to do, I mean, you got, what, instant credibility, right? Because... Cause you learned it now you're passing it on the, your IQ goes up their IQ goes up all together at the same time so give me you got to give me at least one story about a kid that uh that you that maybe you impacted or maybe you know he learned something from oh. you and you were proud of him give me give me something oh it, hap yeah. oh, it happens every okay that's good every, every day <laughs> not like yeah. okay I would say every week whenever I go coach them over there like you know because I've been coaching there for almost going to two months plus right now so yeah. today was our last day of practice for the, for the year. So some of them are going to Florida for some all-star game, you know, so after that they will be, be in high school. So one of the guys I'm working with, his name is Gavin. You know, I know probably one day he will, he will see this video. Hopefully. <laughs> but, <laughs> Subscribe so, um, to the channel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, he's in you know, seventh grader. You know, so the first time I came over there, like first week, I walked with him. The second week, I walked with him, walked with him again. So I think there's a uh, Competition they went to. I don't know where it is. And um, he he was doing good. I think he won some. Like you know, he said that he, he performed. Like he, he he his performance was exceptional, right? So mm -hmm. he was telling me, oh, and I was walking. I was hey, uh, coach, I want to thank you for um helping me out. I, I I did what you asked me to do, and it worked. Nice. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot to I forgot to have my coach. I was like, um, oh, I'm still a player, but in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> who's he talking to? <laughs> <laughs> but so, like, that really that really made me like oh my oh my god like you know now I know what coaches feel yeah, you know you know you for go. real and I know what coaches feel like whenever you do stuff because that guy is uh is coachable you know he doesn't get distracted you know like other kids and um now he's going to Florida today was their last practice he's going to Florida for something FBU something high school uh, middle school something in in uh, in Florida they have three games. So hopefully you're gonna be able, make be a uh, MVP online over there. There you go. Do it. He's so good. So in my training page, I'm posting a lot. Like you know, it's, it's in my training page. I will, say, I, will, I will tell you guys my training. Oh page. yeah, you guys, you guys can follow my training page. I'm also my page. Well, and we're we're All gonna stuff stuff hey, producer, producer. That's your cue. Make sure his uh, training page, his Instagram, both his, his Instagram and the and the training page is up here. So people want to check out some of that video. Uh, yeah, that yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So. That guy now, he's so excited because I walked, you know, his dad, you know, actually like, you know, called me and be like, hey, I want you to walk him out again for one more time before he would go, you know. So his dad came yeah. on Sunday, like he was over there, he was recording, you know. So it was, you know, 
and I have to explain to him, like, you know, I do this for passion. Like, I'm doing it, I'm, I'm doing it with passion because uh, football already, like, you know, gave me a lot. I went to school for free. You know, I'd be able to see people I never thought I would ever be going to see in my life. Yeah. When I told my, I would tell people, like, I was Tom Brady's uh, uh, um, teammate. They don't believe that. You know, so I was like, yeah, yeah I was, yeah, Tom Brady. Like, you know, I know I, ha- I had an injury in three preseason. You know, they cut me, which I understand how the business go, but like, during the whole training camp and preseason games and everything, like, you know, it's my team. I was seeing Tom Brady. I'm like, so this guy is real. <laughs> yeah, right. So, yeah. so, like, you know, when I look back, I say, like, man, I was a that village boy playing soccer with barefoot in Nigeria, man. Like, this, anything is possible. Uh, right now, I'm over there in the training camp with Tom Brady. I was going on one-on-one pass rush, and I was doing good. He, after we have a break, he told me, hey, good job. He, he congratulated me, like, oh, like, what? So, so he's there watching. You go. Man, like, you, you know, I, I, took, I, took a, I took a moment after we had a break, man. I cried, man, in the indoor. Because people don't understand, you know, because, I mean, there's a lot of people in training camp, fans over there taking pictures. They don't want to see you. Like, people see me, like, you know, you think I was sweating because it's practice, but I was crying. Like, this is crazy, you know. Other guys over there, Antonio Brown, Leno Fanet, went to LSU. So, but Tom Brady, though, is he, he was watching. I didn't know he was watching my one-on-one pass rush. It's crazy. And I was walking. I didn't yeah. even expect him to say anything at all. He was like, hey, 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 uh, hey, buddy. Good job, man. I see good knee bend. I'm like, what? That's awesome, <laughs> so, man. I thought I was tired, man. I, mean, I was gassed up. <laughs> hey, and, not, and, not, and not, to, not to make it weird, but, you know, me and producer feel the same way with being able to talk to you today, dude. It, it's, it's awesome to be able to do this. We really, really appreciate it. Um, what do you think, man? Playing for the XFL last year, how that'll translate to this year? You think you got a leg up on some of the 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 other old linemen coming in? Maybe you know Coach Ward a little better, or maybe you got an idea what the offense is going to be like. You think you got like a leg up by playing those six games with us last year? Yeah. Um. Um. This year, like you know, like we just got like um. Because I told I told you in, in the beginning, like some of us are going to be the returning players. Is going to we're going to step forward and be a leader. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's the only way, like, you know, if you want to actually achieve something, that's how it's going to be. And, like, you start with uh, us, you know, the, uh, the older player, I mean, the vets. Let me put it this way. You know, so we're going to show, show out there, like, you know, because coach always put us in the best position to win the game, Coach Ward. You know, you always want us to win every day. Walk through, like, you know, there's never, like, a day, like, like okay, coach is feeling uh, reluctant today. No. I, I yeah. mean, who, Google who he is. Like, you know, he's an aggressive player when he used to play. So that same mentality is still there. We see it every day. He, you know, he, so, said he, wants to, he said he wants to score 30 points a game. So, I mean. That's what I'm saying, though. That, let's get it. He has that mentality, of course. Like, you know, and also we have some guys on the team that are talented, you know, but injury hit us. You know, some, you know it happens sometimes. So, but like, um, based on what we learned from last year, like, you know, all those close games and stuff that we're supposed to win, you know, some guys not doing um, the things they have to do. Like, you know, me too. I got hurt too. So sometimes my, I didn't play as hard as I supposed to play. You know what I mean? I missed some games. You know, yeah. I started only seven games. You know, you know, the other ones I played, and the one I missed one game because of, I had ankle, um, had an ankle sprain. You know, so, but like all those kind of stuff, we have a lot of setback. But I know for sure with the new guys, some guys are going to be my team. I don't know who they're going to be, new guys, but. You know, everybody, I have to, like, you know, as a, as a vet, like I said before, like, I have to, like, you know, step in, make sure, like, everything, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter who's going to be our O-line coach. It doesn't matter who's the offensive staff going to be, if it's going to be the same people or next people or the or another people. We have to hold ourselves accountable. It's something that we didn't do last year. You know, training camp, everybody just, want, training camp lasted for three, week, three, three weeks. You know, before you know it, first game. So, so you know, it's, it's, so, it's so hard to, like, you know, get people to be in our court like that. You know, it's, you know, so uh, because we have a returning player this year, I think we can be able to achieve that earlier. You know? So so the most important question to ask o lineman: pass block or run block? What do you want to do more? You, know, you, want to pa- you want to pass the ball or you want to run the ball? You know what? I want to run the ball because I'm good in yeah, pass block. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know? So... Oh, well, you can hit the defense, right? You don't want to. You don't yeah. always be the one getting yeah, hit. So, you want to do the hit. Yeah, because uh, you know, I know for sure, for sure, like you know, for me to be a complete tackle in the eyes of NFL team, you know, for me to be a because you know now you know everything 
back in the days, like, you know, I didn't play, I, I, I'm, I'm not in a professional for a long ass time now. Like, it's only four years I've been in professional world, both NFL and SFL. So I'm still learning. I'm still like, you know, but now having an opportunity to compete again with everything I've learned off season, for one year of off season, everything I've, you know, I, I watch all my tape from last year. I have all the, all the highlights on YouTube, you know, I, I look at it all the time, you know, so. I put in myself in the best uh, situation that, like, for I know for sure, for sure. When I, you know, when I, when I get back to, over there for training camp, you know, I'm gonna be a leader. I told myself that I'm gonna help. I, I'm gonna help our team. You know, I, sure. you know, I'm gonna, you know, trying like, you know, help the guys in the O line room too. Because, but I would say for sure, um, I would say run game, because I'm good in pass protection. I know that for sure. You, I walk. You, you know, don't I walk, have to. You you don't have to answer this if you don't want if you don't want to, but uh Joaquin's Patrick, is he like you heard anything? I mean, he was a beast on our team last year. I got to meet him a couple of times, but if you just had to you don't don't answer it if you don't want to, but if you want to, you think he's coming back? Oh no, man. Yeah, I, I'm just cool. like just I, a, I, I, just, I had to try. Player, I had to try. I don't know who's coming <laughs> back. I, I know, I understand, but like to be honest too, but I don't really know who's coming back. That's cool. You know, so I know I know the yeah. fans here, the fans here definitely appreciate what you did, you know, and I they definitely appreciate, you know, the team working hard last year. So anybody we yeah, can get like back to we got I never, that. I never I never last year I, I didn't have much opportunity to like, you know, be around in team function because you know with week two, that's when I got hurt. And yeah. you know, I was like, damn, I want to get back to NFL. I don't know how they're gonna see my tape. You know, like you know, I was just Sad every day. Go to training room. You know my film is not looking that sharp. Although I didn't give up no sack, but my film didn't give up. It doesn't look the way I, you know supposed to look. I got a I, I got a workout with the uh, Steelers and Cleveland Brown training camp. I mean I didn't get signed. I went over there and you know do what I have to do. But I guess they will you know watch tape. You know they're nobody gonna care if you get hurt. You know you already put tape out, out there. So it hurts. You know sometimes, but like I feel we, like we care. You know, you know, I feel like um, 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 it's the thing that that have to happen so that we can improve as a human. You know, whatever mm-hmm. I'm doing. So that's why it motivates me a lot. After that, I went back. <laughs> I went back in the off season. I was training, man. You know, I lost like twenty pounds <laughs> from what I played last year. So I'm, um, you know, so it's the mindset I changed. You know, for myself. You know, I lost twenty pounds from what I played last year. Wow. So now I'm coaching these kids right now because, you know, it's my passion. I just, you know, I don't think I can do anything else. But when I'm done playing football, I want to, like, still be a, like a technique coach for this grassroots high school. That's what I want to focus on, yeah. you know, to be a the, the technique technique coach. But maybe college, you know, college guys can come in, you know, get some work. But, but my main focus is, like, grassroots football, like, kids. Because I know how I came, how I started. By myself. Yeah. So after watching, like, remember I didn't finish the story I was telling you earlier. So after watching one month of one-on-one pass rush, I went to that Nike camp. My coach uh, 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 paid for me to go. I went over there and win MVP online for the first oh. time. Little hidden so, gym, Hit little hidden gym <laughs> that probably nobody knows, right? MVP of the even, Nike no, camp. I, I, I didn't. I don't. You know, in Nigeria we just play soccer. We don't. Leave, I just naturally strong. You know what I mean? So, but yeah. like I went over there and win MVP online. That day, so nobody even know me. I wasn't in the radar. They Google like, "No, who is this guy?" Yeah. So the next day, that's when I got Miami. Do- I mean, I was I got Miami University uh scholarship. The next day, really? Was like, who? Yes. The next day wow. it was on Sunday. The next day, is school. They came. UM coaches came. Like, we want to give this guy a scholarship. <laughs> that's all. Less than six that's months. Awesome. So from there, that's when I know. Like, oh, okay. But for, to me, I didn't even think I did anything. That's special. I was like, it's that same stuff I watch on YouTube. That's what I did. But the people were looking at me like, oh, man, you don't do, oh, my God. I'm like, um, what? <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? It was crazy, man. Like, I really like, oh, that's all these stories. You know, I have a, crazy stories, man. Things like, you know, how I learned football, the things, how everything. I, I'm like, that's my book coming. I'm, the book, my, my book is coming out soon. Oh, well, plug, that. plug that. Plug that. Let's hear it. Uh, What's it called? <laughs> so it's all about... No, I never made a name yet. You know, I'm okay. still writing it, but like it's all about my life, though. Like how I came from Nigeria to America. Like you know, my life over there, my life over there in Nigeria before. Like my family background. You know, chapter one I have to all that stuff. So all those different chapters we talk about. Okay, when I got my scholarship, when I got here, the, all the process when I get, came here. 
how I learned football. You know, it's all about when I when I'm done, like you know, I'm like, like you know, when everybody, when anybody that read it, will understand. We know who I am after reading it. So, so, so just in this interview, Chidi, uh, everybody, that you're an author, you're a youth coach, you're a position coach, you're a pro player. Uh, we talked about a college career, dude. Hey, you even talked about you know working out in off season, getting in shape, staying driven. And you're going to be playing for the Brahmas this year. I don't think any fan who gets lucky enough to see this interview isn't going to be pulling for you this year, man. We're we're going to be pulling. I, you're going to hear me. You're going to hear me. I'm going to scream like a little kid every time. <laughs> every time you make a good block. Every time they they run to the left, man. We're pulling for you, dude. Yeah, of course, my San Antonio. Honestly, for some reason, you know, something you know keep bringing me back to San Antonio. Because the first time I actually come to San Antonio was 2015. I played in the U.S. Army or American in that Alamo Dome over there. Really? I was in the West team. I really? Send, I send, see, I will send you the picture of all this stuff. And it's in my I'll training I believe stage. you, man. I believe you. That's a big deal yeah, down here. That that All-American game in the Dome for the for high school, that is a yeah. big deal down here. So that's why, like, you know, when I, I got a call from Heinz Wall last year, like, yo, hey, I want you to play for – I was so happy. I'm like, wow, this is like a same Alamo Dome. Like, you know, because that's the best – first. That's playing in Alamo Dome first time in 2015 was the first time playing a, a like big organized football with fans, the army people everywhere. Like it was crazy. Like in the locker room, shaking every player, call your name. Man, as a kid from Nigeria, I never like seen those kind of stuff. <laughs> My man was like, you know, was crazy. And That's I ended cool. up like, and I was even a starter. I was starting left tackle in that game. I didn't even know, learn football for more than a year did, plus. Did you get any good Mexican food? Did you get any? Are you, do you like Mexican food now or no? Of course, I eat a lot of Mexican food. Like, you know, I went to high school in, in Miami, so it's a lot of Mexican Cuban restaurants over there. There you go. That's my favorite, as you can tell, man. I got yeah, the, and also I, I got the body <laughs> of a I got the body of an old lineman that hasn't worked out in twenty years. So. <laughs> and also, I forgot to tell you about so that my book. I'm telling you, so my my, my actual release date of my book, actual book, probably gonna be like in September or September October of next year. Awesome. But 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 I'm releasing something. I'm reading. I have. I'm, I made a journal. I make a journal. Like I'm reading my journal uh-huh. on the 26th of December, which is this month. And my 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 my, uh, my birthday is on the 26th. So my journal is gonna like you know my journal is gonna come out. Very soon. You're gonna set, share a couple pages, man. That's awesome. That that's yeah, just gonna man, make the fans to... relate more with you. You know. Yeah, man. So I'm trying like you know I was trying like you know after the interview I will send you by tomorrow the people that's helping me to do my journal. They will say they will say the official stuff like to y'all so that you can use it to put it in this interview like to help. Yeah, you know, that'll be sweet. Push it. Yeah, so <laughs> so it's, it's gonna look. I, if I I will show you the picture tomorrow. Like I will send it to you. You see how they use drama logo and they, it's crazy. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah, it's so exciting. I wanna like you know use that to like you know the journal have a little like you know if you open it they have a little story that tell okay this my name is Chido I'm from Nigeria tell you a little bit about my story from Nigeria to NFL so. A little, just a little small story about me, and just the journal is all about like you know, motivation, whatever you write in there. You know, it's it's, it's yeah. basically for high school kids, the younger kids to like you know when they see the journal, they read it, they inspiring story. I'm a football player, you know, it inspired them. If I can make it from all the way from the village where I'm from, they have everything that they need in the world over here. So. And also, it's a motivation for an adult too, because not, I'm not making any other for, but I made it because because I'm a football guy. But any other person can get it. It's our motivation, you know. We forgot to add mentor and professional in the list of things that we just learned that you you are the greatest at so far. Man, you just you got so many uh, talents. We won't, you know what? Next time we talk, if we ever get lucky enough to talk again, or I see you. We're we're not even going to talk football. We're going to talk writing books and uh, mentoring <laughs> young young men in this country to achieve great things. Yeah, you know. So uh, like that, uh, with that, my I mean, is, yeah. any, any anything else? Anything else you want to add to to the interview? I, I I could probably sit here and talk to you for like the rest of the night, but uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, any of the fans want to want to see my ugly face that long. And you probably. You probably got to go write a book or uh, save a kitten out of a no, tree no, or something. No, no. I don't know yeah, no, what, today, what you're going <laughs> to Today, I made this day out for y'all. Like, you know, it's, just, it's not, you know, I just because I've, be, I've been really like been grinding out after this. Well, we appreciate last, it. 
you know, after the season last year, I've been, I've really been grinding because I, I really want to get back to where I need to be, you know. So that's why, you know, I'll come back being the best shape. I want to be in the best shape of my life, you know, be in shape, you know. I've I've never been in before in my life. I never, like, you know, lose 20 pounds. Like, just want to lose 20 pounds. I, I never try that. You know, I yeah. just want to be different, you know. So, and I know it's going to show up. With our hard work is going to show because I've been training, you know. So wait. I'm healthy too. So I'm excited, man. I've never been want to be a, I want to, I've never been more excited to play football ever in my life than this year. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you. So, and I'm happy for that, you know. And also, the people, somebody I'm doing that for, because I know, like, you know, if she's, if she's alive, she will be watching. She will be, you know, be happy that I'm doing this with my mom. And I lost my mom um, last year when I was playing in the USFL. Wow. Yeah, during training camp, April first, man. She mm-hmm. died, you know, but I couldn't I couldn't go home also. I only have to mourn for one day and the next day I start practicing, you know. Like that's the only thing. My family is that, not here. That's you the know? thing. That that's that's real life and that's dedication. That's the thing that sometimes us as fans, we don't get to see or know uh, you're going through an extreme loss and uh you still find a way to persevere and pull through it. So man, that's that's commendable. We're sorry for your loss. Uh it's it's a thing that everybody's everybody deals with, but man, you it's even harder when you're a pro athlete in the spotlight and then you have obligations to to these big teams, you know, these leagues and stuff. So man, the pressure is uh understandable. Yeah, man. So like, you know, as as you know, in a situation whereby you know when you look left and look right, um uh, man, I'm just a foreigner in this country, like nobody's gonna really help you like that. So I just got like, you know, I wipe my tears. To the point that uh, my mom died today. I missed practice tomorrow. The next day I came to practice. Everybody, everybody was looking at me like, wait, you need to go home and spend time with your family, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, go away. Like, I can't just go to Africa. Just, just you know, it's, it takes a lot of time and everything. So I was like, you know what? The best thing that I can, I can ever do is just to stay here and, you know, practice, going to meetings with y'all, seeing you guys help. Because if I be, if I be by myself, like, I don't know what's going to happen because my mom, I'm close to my mom. And already, I already lost my dad already. So, you know, so it's just some of those things made me like, you know, throughout the whole USFL season, I was every day I was crying, even in the line of scrimmage. I'm crying, but I'm playing. Wow. It's so crazy. You know, so, and I played the whole 10 games, started the whole 10, 10 games, left tackle. But, you know, those things, when I think about it, like, you know, that's how life is. You know, sometimes you go through the tough times and you know that there's no help. They just start, I start feeling. The, the, the point is that I start feeling bad for myself. Let me just put it this way. You know, I start feeling, you know, feeling bad, like, you know, because nobody, at the end of the day, like, you know, you got to, like, you know, everybody have their own life, their own demons, what's going on in their life. So that motivated me, like, you know, I, I want people to know who I am because, you know, people know, okay, the KK, you know, only football people will know who cheated when they Google my name. No, but I want, not only, I want the whole fucking world to know. I'm better using that word. Get it's all right. <laughs> I, want, <laughs> I want the whole world to know that because, you know, because mostly football has to do with it, who you know sometimes. Like your dad played, your uncle played, his connection, you know, from, you know all those yeah. stuff. For me, I'm just to- totally different. I came from Africa. It's all about talent. So what, for me to get where I am today, it's all about what Chidi do, did. Chidi doesn't yeah. have no ta- no brother, no or cousin, no uncle that played in the NFL or all those stuff. I don't have it at all. So that's why, like, you know, for me to get myself out there right now, I started to like, you know, things change happen in my life that made me start thinking, I want people to know who I am. Like, I really like love doing this stuff. I didn't want to get back to, you know, now I'm learning a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm good to play for years. I know that I have good seven years of playing in professional football, you know. So, well, you're, um, a, you're a human success story at this point, man. You're, <laughs> you're, you're an inspiration. I, and I know those kids you're coaching, position coach there in the Pee Wee football. For sure, you impacted their lives. If you shared even a morsel of this with them, you you know that they're going to persevere and they're going to be strong and they're going to have that attitude they need to get get to where they want to go in life and be successful. Uh, there's a lot yeah, of definitely. definitions for success, man, and you you hit almost all of them. So um, appreciate it, man. No, appreciate we really it. appreciate you coming in. You know, the United Football Media Group. You guys are watching. If you like the interview, like, share, subscribe, help get uh, get the story out, man. We got books coming out. We got play on the field very soon hopefully we know there's a lot of questions people don't know about the league but one thing is true it's the people the people the players the players in the league the coaches in the league that's what makes the league that's what breaks the league and uh man chitty we really do appreciate you coming on here 
Uh, we're going to have to go. So I'm going to give you the last 30 seconds or last minute, whatever you need. What do you want the fans to know? What can they take with them and ready for next season? Um, uh, I gotta say, man, fans can sit back and relax. This year, this next, this next coming season is gonna be like a, like a, like it's gonna be good, man. This uh, San Antonio gonna have, it's gonna be a a, a, a city with a championship. <laughs> there we go, baby. City. There we go. Let me just put it. Right. It's gonna we'll be just like, that, like that. It's gonna be good, yeah, man. And we're hunting for it's a championship, good, man. Yeah, see it, baby. Yeah, we got we got a good head in our shoulder this year, so we got we got um we um uh, we're gonna be good this year. So I thank them for their support, man. I can't wait to like come down there, take pictures, you know, do some community work, you know, with people like let people know my yeah. you know what I, what I got going on and everything. So I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited. Well, that was our first player interview. If you stuck around, it was well worth your time. We appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. United Football Media Group made this possible. Thanks to the Brahma bullpen. Uh, thanks to Chitty. We really appreciate him jumping on and doing that with us. Remember, like, share, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Subscribe. United Football Media Group. UFM. Let's go. And, uh, you know, we're, we're working on some more player interviews to, to get that itch scratch for uh, spring football before the season gets here. So follow the Brahma bullpen. As always, baby, form forwards. Let's go.